Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to devote the video on uh, a uh, big problem that uh, the Honda Comstar wheels have. And uh, I'm going to show you how to restore them back to uh, looking like brand new again. I've had a lot of people uh, ask me, you know, what method I use to bring the wheels back to looking like brand new. And as you can see here, uh, this is a section of the wheel that I have brought back uh, to pretty much look like an NOS wheel. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go through the steps on how to do that. And uh, I start off using wet dry sandpaper. Uh, I'm starting off with 320 here. And, uh, you know, it depends on how bad the wheel is, but... Uh, you know, I kind of keep it around three, 320 to 400, uh, and it's a long, tedious process. But uh, if you have a wheel that's, that's all kind of marked up with those white dots and scratches and everything else, uh, it's worth the time because the, the price of these wheels is going up. You know, there aren't that many of them left, really nice ones. And I'm starting off with a fairly decent one here. But um, anyway, you, you have to just really uh, spend a lot of time uh, wet sanding it. And the way a Honda did it from the factory was they, they uh, prepared the, the, the aluminum just like this. And then they, they fused on a clear coat over it. And it's that clear coat that is turning white and, and chippy looking. So as you can see right there where uh, I haven't touched it yet. But uh, once you've sanded that all off, and you can see the difference here. This, this is the way it looks, you know, a bad looking wheel looks with all those white dots and white marks and scratch marks and everything. Uh, but you can see the original scratch marks from the factory. And then, like I said, they clear over it. So uh, you just have to sand all that, that clear off. And I've tried uh, paint remover, paint stripper, whatever, and it doesn't touch it. So somehow or another, Honda fused it on there. And the only way to get it off is to wet sand it off just like that. So uh, it's probably going to take a couple hours to do a whole wheel. But uh, this is the result of it after you're finished. So... Um, once you've gotten all of the, uh, the, the, the old clear off and gotten all the marks out and the scratches and everything, uh, I use um, this product, Semichrome, and you can get it at any motorcycle shop. I've, I've featured this in my previous videos when I've uh, uh, polished the engine cases and stuff, but this stuff is really great. And uh, so after you've wet sanded it, you know, take a liberal amount of this semi-chrome on there and just rub it until it gets to your uh, desired shine. And, <clears throat> you know, these wheels from the factory were not real chrome-like shine. They did not have a chrome-like shine on them. They just had a, a nice satin uh, shine to them. And so I just kind of, you know, rub it until it gets to that satin finish the way that they were when they were brand new and I'm showing I'm showing this in real time to show you you know how long I I use the 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 polish on there and as you polish it you know just like every other polished aluminum piece it uh, turns black as you can see there and uh, so that's about all I I rub it to get kind of that satin look to it and then uh, wipe it down again with another piece of paper towel and I use paper towel just because you want to have the the scratch marks in there uh, because that's the way these wheels looked when they were brand new so um, you'll see here after I've finished my final uh, polish here how great the wheel turns out and again it's going to take a long time depending on how bad your wheel is but uh, due diligence uh, you'll have a really nice looking wheel that is 
uh, you know, you would have to spend a lot of money on one of these wheels to make, you know, to get one that looks like this. So uh, I have an NOS front wheel in the box and I paid $800 for it. So, uh, you know, I can make any wheel look just as good as that brand new one in the box. As you can see here, uh, it's pretty much back to looking like new again. So, um, you know, that's, uh, I just wanted to show you this short video on, on how to do that. Uh, again, I've had a lot of people inquire about that. So I figured I would devote this video to that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this wheel to put on my Left 4 Dead CBX. And, uh, you know, when it's all finished, I'll, I'll uh, focus, you know, I'll, I'll focus a little bit of time on the finished wheel when I'm done. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for this, for this video. Um, as you can see, big difference between what the wheel looked like before and just about every CBX out there, uh, this is what the wheels look like after many years of, of uh, riding and road uh, chips and so on. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, please leave comments, uh, questions, and please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps the channel. And uh, the next video, I'll be back on um, the assembly of the two CBXs that, that I'm featuring in this video series. So again, thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.